And some people in Flower Bluff thought they woke up to a tornado this morning. They were close. As Juan just told us, the proper term is gustnado, and that storm left behind plenty to clean up. Chris 6 News reporter Jeremiah Marshall gives us a look. Residents here are dealing with broken tree limbs such as these, and now they say it's time to pick up the pieces. And tree limbs were everywhere. Trash cans went flying by, hit my husband's truck over there. On Alazon Drive, residents like Beth Aiken were surprised how this gust NATO took over their neighborhood. Check out this video caught by her security cameras. You can see how the strong winds almost caused their basketball net to hit her son's car. And in a different angle, the neighbor's blue recycle bin comes flying in, hitting her husband's truck. It's crazy. It was eight seconds is all it took for it to run through here and do the amount of damage that it did. And that's not all. These images show how damaging winds caused this pool to turn over. Also, this garage right across the street came off its tracks. The ceiling in that same garage damaged. I had no idea that any of this happened. I came out here, I was completely shocked. Just laying in bed watching TV this morning, listening to the rain. Residents say they didn't expect this much destruction. It's just crazy to see all this devastation over here, just from a little bit of rain and wind. But Aiken says she's glad this damage is minor and that no one was hurt. I'm okay. I mean, as long as it's not nobody was hurt, you know, and my husband will have to fix it all. <laughs> Jeremiah Marshall, Chris Six News. Thank you, Jeremiah.